Hi everyone, I want to offer a short teaching and meditation for the month of Elul. Um, in the Jewish calendar, Elul precedes the new, the new year, it, which uh, is Rosh Hashanah in Tishrei. And the month of Elul is really dedicated to doing the work of self-reflection, of really sitting with and being present to your own soul, your own behaviors over the last year, your own intentions for the new year. It's a time to really reflect and evaluate sort of what your values are um, and how you're living those values in, in real life, where you're falling short of living and fully integrating those values. Um, it's when we do this work on ourselves and the Hebrew term for it is cheshbon hanefesh, um, which means to take an accounting or like a weighing out and a real like assessment of our own soul. What is the state that my soul is in at the present moment? And the teaching I want to offer today is really just about presence. So it's the very first sort of assumed, you know, underlying thing that you need in order to do this work of Elul and Cheshbon HaNefesh is to really show up and be present to yourself. What is it I'm feeling? What is it I'm needing? What am I actually thinking? Like to really just stop and take a pause and listen and observe and watch and sense where you're really at and what information is there. Um, you know, we're so busy. Our lives are so busy and we're so filled with the to-dos and the responsibilities and the distractions that call us out of ourselves into the world. That's not a bad thing, right? Most of us are doing good things in the world. We are helping others. We are in relationships. We are, you know, making a difference where we can. And we're getting done the, you know, the stuff of life. We're going grocery shopping and getting, you know, to the gym or taking that walk and taking care of, you know, what we need to on a daily basis. But in that busyness of life, how and when and where do we find the time to settle, right? And that's what really any meditation or mindfulness practice or any yoga practice or prayer or spiritual practice is about. It's about taking the time and space so that you can become present. So I want to offer two teachings specific to Elul, and then we're going to do a little practice together. So the first is um, that the psalm of the season um, comes from Tehillim, the psalms. Um, the psalm of the season that we say throughout Elul and throughout the new year and the high holiday season is Psalm 27. And there are two, teach two sections of that psalm that I want to focus on with you today. Um, the first section is... Um, and a translation of it is one thing, one thing is what my heart and mind and soul is really asking of the infinite, of source. And that one thing is to be present to sit and dwell and rest and get grounded in the presence of the eternal, to see God's face, whatever we understand that to be, right? Not in an anthropomorphic way, but in a way of seeing like truth, seeing a broader perspective about my relationship to the divine and having that reflected back to me. So that's the one thing I'm seeing that I'm, that I'm asking for in this season, right? To be invited into the presence of the infinite, of where the infinite dwells, whether that be in nature or in the cosmos or in some understanding of what you have of coming into a heavenly court or into your own deepest center, right? Where does God dwell for you? Um, the Kutzker Rebbe famously asked that question. Where does God dwell? 
wherever we allow God to show up and to be present. So it is, again, it's all about our presence. The one thing I seek is the presence of coming into relationship with the divine and with my own soul. Um, a second teaching from the Psalm 27 is, Licha amar libi bakshu panai et panai um, I, oh, it's funny because I printed it and it's printed wrong. Excuse me. Et panai Adonai avakesh, which is my heart, libi, my heart, mind, my consciousness is asking this of your face. It's seeking, seeking the face of, again, put in your words, but like, what is what is that ethereal, ephemeral, eternal, infinite presence that you're seeking to connect to and be in the presence of and with, right? And that doesn't just reside outside of you in the world, it resides within you. So learning to come to that place within you, right, is a really important practice for Elul and for any time. Um, the other teaching I'd like to add comes from Reb Nachman of Bratzlav, Hasidic Rebbe, one of my absolute favorites who I quote very often. And this is a teaching from Likute Moharan, which are the accumulated teachings of his. And the I'll just give you the English here. It, he basically says the essence of teshuva, and we will talk more about teshuva in coming weeks as we move into the actual high holidays and aseret yemei tshuva, the 10 days of repentance, atonement, return between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. He says the essence of teshuva, of returning, of making amends, of redirecting and realigning ourselves onto a good path, right, is to hear yourself and the word he says is kisheyishma, so that you are really listening and hearing yourself and your own, he uses the word, it translates as like sin or disgrace, but really being honest, really taking an honest look at your own regret, at your own mistakes, at your own unskillfulness, and allow yourself to listen and really sit with that. And then he says, yidom v'yishtok, and to be completely silent with that, right? To really pause and be silent. So what better way to do that than with a silent mindfulness meditation reflection? Okay, so I invite you to close your eyes whether you're sitting, whether you're lying, just take a moment to settle your physical body in the place you are in right now. So notice what is touching the earth. And just stay in that connection for a moment. And you can take a scan of your body. Just feel your own position in space. What feels comfortable? What maybe feels a sense of discomfort? And attend to that. If you need to shift your seat, if you need to roll your shoulders and relax them down from your ears. Whatever it is you need to find yourself able to sit in silence for the next few moments. And then bring yourself into an awareness that you are breathing. So you don't have to alter or change the breath. We're just going to observe. Inhaling. I'm aware that I'm inhaling. Exhaling. I'm aware that I'm exhaling.
So it sounds so simple, but we know it isn't. It is not simple to really give 100% attention and concentration, single pointed focus just on your breath, just on anything in the given moment. And that's why we practice. So as the mind is full of chatter, as you hear sounds in your environment, as other thoughts are arising, choose. This is your opportunity to exert free will. This is where empowerment comes from. In this moment, I choose to direct my attention to So if you're directing attention to breath, really be in the enjoyment of being in your breath. And as you're more present, maybe things slow down a little. The breath itself slows down. Your heartbeat slows down. Even the need to attend to other thoughts slows down. Like giving yourself permission to just be here. I'm going to introduce for you just a word to anchor you. In the Buddhist tradition, we use the term mantra, or in Thich Nhat Hanh's tradition, gatha, which is like a phrase or a word. This is also part of the Jewish meditation contemplative practice. You choose a phrase or a word and you center that as the anchor that you keep coming back to. So, We'll start with the word hineni. Hineni means I am here, showing up fully present, fully alert in this moment, ready to listen, to notice, to receive. So you can sit with that word for yourself, hineni. If you prefer to sit with an English phrase, you can create whatever phrase works for you. Something to the effect of, I am here, I have arrived, Hineni, I am awake in this moment. And we'll just breathe with that for the next two minutes. And now I'm going to invite you to come into a listening practice. So 
Reb Nachman of Bratzlav said the key to teshuva is listening, listening. And hearing physiologically, you know, our ears take in sound and we hear it and it translates. It's a little bit different than actively listening, which involves your choice to give your attention, really to really choose to be present to what you are hearing in your environment. So during the season of Elul, the shofar is sounded every day. And there are a lot of teachings mystically and otherwise about the purpose of the shofar, which is to wake us up. We hear this blast and it shatters our illusions. It shatters our distractions. It pulls us out of our ordinary sleepwalking mode so that we can be fully awake, really be awake and present. He nani, so we can come into this place of, I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening. I do not have a shofar, but I do have a bell. So the invitation is again to close your eyes if you had opened them. And I'll sound the bell three times. And each time your job is to just tune yourself and your, uh, your mindful focus to the sound that it's making. There is a beautiful gatha that comes from Thich Nhat Hanh. He says, when he rings the bell, he says, listen, listen, this beautiful sound brings me back to my true home. Listen, listen, this beautiful sound brings me back to my true home. So we'll do that practice three times and then I will guide you to uh, something that follows on after that. And now I invite you to listen for any sounds that are in your immediate environment. Just really tune in and hear whatever sounds, vibrations, And then I'll ask you to use your imagination to expand your listening, to hear a sound from somewhere outside of your immediate environment. It could be somewhere in your town. It could be somewhere across the country where maybe a loved one lives. Maybe you hear them waking up. It could be a sound from a forest or an ocean across the planet somewhere. And then you're gonna come back 
into your space, slowly bring your awareness and attention back to where you are here, into your room, into your body, and listen for what is happening inside of your body. Right, so maybe you actually can hear, maybe if you bring a hand over your heart, over the belly, you can hear internal sounds or rhythms. Have to get really quiet to hear your own heartbeat. And then you can rest your hands comfortably. And I'll invite you to listen to your own live, your own heart, mind, consciousness, and ask this question. What is the one thing I seek? What is the one thing in my heart, in my soul that I am asking for in this moment? This one thing I ask and request and seek. And really listen, listen for the wisdom, the inner truth. Some say that the answer to a prayer doesn't come from outside of you, right? The answer is in the listening to the response to your own emotions, to what arises when you ask the question, when you pray the prayer. So listening for your own answers. And I'll invite you to come back into an awareness, awareness excuse me, of your physical body. Just feel yourself again in space. And then take a few calm, deep breaths into your physical being. Coming back to that Hineni awareness, I am here. And as you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back. I hope that that practice was um, helpful. I hope that it brought something to you that you needed this morning. Um, certainly, you can revisit this practice again and again for the remaining days of Elul and through the high holidays as a way to get grounded, to come into presence. Um, so that you're really able to feel and hear and, you know, see what is in your heart and what is needed next. So I wish you all a beautiful day and I will see you again soon.